Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today we're going to transform a cake into a watermelon cake. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to draw with me. To start drawing your cake, we're going to draw on the left hand side. We're going to draw a line down. This is going to be the front of your cake, like the pointy part. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line for the bottom. This will be how long your cake is. So pretty long. And then up on the top, we're going to draw an imaginary line. So I just draw it really lightly. This is so I could follow where the frosting goes. And this line is the same line as the one on the bottom. Now we're going to draw dripping frosting. We're going to do a curvy line down, a longer one, a shorter one, a longer one, back up to the top, and then straight down to the bottom. So this will be our icing that's dripping off of our cake. I'm going to make mine a little bit longer. I didn't quite make it long enough. Then we're going to draw a straight line down. So this is going to show where the icing is on the back of the cake, what would be like the outside before you cut it. And now we're going to draw a different diagonal line. This is going to show how wide the top of our cake is. And then I'm going to draw a little curve. And then right here we're going to put the little icing, like the little dollops of icing. So a little one there, it's teardrop shape. And then one here is going to go behind the other one. And then a third one. I usually start at the point and draw one side and then come up and draw the other and meet the points. And then a fourth one. And if you have room for another one, you can put another one. Or if you only ended up with three, that's fine too. All right, and that finishes the basic cake shape for our cake. Now we're going to put eyes on our cake. You're going to put big round eyes. They're pretty big on the cake. And if you go over some of your frosting drippings, that's okay because we're going to fill it in with permanent marker later so it'll get covered up. For these eyes, we're going to put a half circle on top and a half circle on the bottom. These will be the reflections that are in the eye when we're all done adding the permanent marker. And then for the mouth, we're going to do a cute little curve with a loop and that's going to make it look like his tongue is sticking out. And to turn it into a watermelon, we're going to put a line on the bottom. This is going to be the rind part. And then we're going to add some seeds, little teardrop shapes. Add as many as you want. I've got three on that side for the kind of where the cheek would be. And then on this one, I'm going to put a couple more. And I've got just enough room to add a third one. And that's all we need to draw our watermelon cake. And now we're going to outline everything with black permanent marker. So I'm going to go around all of the cake. I'm going to do every pencil line that I have on this cake. For the rind, make sure you don't get too close to the bottom. You don't want it to close up because the permanent marker is a little thick. I like to outline the dollops of icing starting on the left hand side and then doing the ones that overlap. That way when I draw my permanent marker line, it gets rid of the harsh little edges on the um, edges of each of the icing dollops. Remember to stop the um, dripping of icing when you're tracing it so you don't go through the eye with that line. And then outline the eyes and then just fill in the center part. There is a pencil line inside the white of this eye that I'm going to erase later from the dripping of the icing. So that will need to be erased. For the little mouth, you got to be really careful when you outline the tongue because it can get closed up if you go too fast and don't pay attention to what you're doing because it is so tiny and the permanent marker is a little thick. Okay, I'm filling in all my little seeds. And there you go. Now it's time to start. Or oh, Before we color, we're going to do a little erasing. Remember I said there was a little bit of lines inside the eye. I erased my invisible line that I drew really lightly so there's know where my icing would go. So we're just kind of cleaning up the drawing before we start coloring. 
All right, now it's time to start coloring. I'm gonna put pink icing on this cake. It's a nice dark pink. And I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch me color. Or you can make it this part any color you want. This isn't really a watermelon color. And a little pink on his tongue. And now I'm gonna do red for the watermelon part. And again, I'm gonna speed that up so you don't have to watch me color too long anyway. And you can go right over the black seeds. The permanent marker won't smear, so you can go right on top of them. And the red doesn't make it um, change. And a little green on the bottom for the rind. And then for my little dollops, I chose a light pink. And again, you can choose any color you want for that part. And your watermelon cake is done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming. We're going to transform a lot more cakes and a bunch of other things.